Hello, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a lookbook. And a lookbook is actually uh, an old fashioned term for a catalog. Now they're online, um, you know, where you can go and look through the different, uh, usually clothing. But my lookbook is going to be some different makeup types or makeup looks. So uh, that's what I have going on. And, um, oh, uh, I did something really different, and you're probably not going to notice it right away, but put it down in the comments if you think you know what it is, and I'll tell you at the end of this video. This video also didn't go, you know, the best laid plans kind of thing, and I was hoping to go ahead and do it all in one uh, one chunk of time. That didn't happen, so if you notice some discrepancies, that's why, but there aren't going to be very many. And so I thought I'd go ahead and get started with what I have on. And this is the first look. I use the House Labs uh, Triclone Foundation. This is in Fair Cool, which is shade 50. And then I went ahead and used the Wet n Wild Bronzer. Um, this is the old packaging, but this is the one called Bikini Contest. And it does have a lot of red in it. And so I really like going ahead and using this one as a bronzer. Um, <clears throat> as far as what I have uh, on the cheeks themselves, I have Grateful by LYS. It's a really pretty shade. Um, it was part of their uh, last year, their holiday package. So that's what I have on. And then I went ahead and topped it with um, this Master Chrome by Maybelline. And this is the one in 150 Molten Peach. So I use this as a topper today instead of just as a highlighter. So that's what I have on there. And then as far as the lips today, I went ahead and used, it, used the Melted Mattes uh, My Type. And I think I'll go ahead and put some of the NYX Fat Oil on top of that. So, as far as the lip look today, it's going to be these two. And then, as far as uh, what I did on the eyes, is that I did go ahead and pick up the NYX uh, Vintage Jean Baby. And so, that's what I have on the eyes today. And I did go ahead and use uh, this in my crease. Then, this right above that. Um, I did go ahead and put this one on the lid, this one on the inner corner, and then this one on the outer corner. So it's a really, um, yeah, blue jean kind of denim kind of look. So that's what I have on today. And this way that the eye look worked out. And as far as what I have on the brows, I have the Oma C. Um, this is the one that, well, it originally came out in Walmart, but it's their um, drugstore version of Oma. And so I think this one is in taupe. Yeah, so that's what I have on the eyebrows today. And then I did go ahead and use the Sky High Mascara in Cosmic Black by Maybelline and the Essence Volume Stylist 18 hour wear. So that's what I have on as far as mascara goes. And as far as the look goes in general, I think it turned out really pretty. And uh, yeah, I think that, yeah, as far as the fall look with a pair of blue jeans, it would be pretty, pretty fantastic. So I think that's the look that I have. And, um, before we move on to the next one, yes, I know for some reason, I think the Too Faced Melted Mats can only be used in the fall and winter, and I need to get over that because I actually do like this formula. So, uh, oh, and the other, um, as far as concealer, I have the LYS on. So uh, that's what the look is, and we'll go on to the next look from here. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, back again. And again, I do have something very different about me. Um, so, uh, but it's one of those things that you really have to think about because you're not going to be like, whoa, that's it. 
but I am back with a different look, so look number two. And um, use the same base again, the Triclone Foundation by House Labs, and this is in uh, Fair Cool 50. And then I did go ahead and um, have the same blush on. This is the Grateful Blush, and this one is um, from LYS. So this is what I have on there. And then I do have the same bronzer on as well. And that is the um, Wet n Wild, the bronzer in uh, Bikini Contest. And again, it really has a nice red tone to it, so I like to wear it a lot. And uh, as far as the eyes, I did go ahead and change those out. And right now I have on the Sigma palette. Um, it's the Enchanted, the mini palette. Again, new to me. And... Um, I have uh, this color, let's see, all over the lid, and then I went ahead and put uh, this one, and it does the duo chrome to green, that's on the lid. Um, I did go ahead and put some of this on the inner corner, and then some of this color uh, right on the brow bone, as well as some of the Emride uh, pencil as far as going ahead and doing eyeliner. And this is how this one turned out. And just in case you're wondering, as far as the brows go, again, I used the Oma by Sharon C. And um, I went ahead and used their taupe as far as the eyebrows today. And both the Sky High and the Maybelline. And this is the Volume Stylist. So I went ahead and used both of these as far as mascara. And... Uh, that's what I have on as far as the looks go. And I'll be back with the next look in just a moment here. Hello, it's Adrienne again. So um, again, back with, I guess this would be inspiration number five. So uh, starting off with the L'Oreal True Match. So that's what I have on as far as my foundation today. Don't have any primer on. Um, I didn't go ahead and use bronzer with this round. I just went straight into the uh, Magic, Hour, or Magic Hour by um, Elf Halo Glow. Uh, so that's what I have on the cheeks there. As far as what I have on my for my highlighter, did go ahead and use the 201 Daybreak, and uh, this one's by Revlon, and it is a really good highlighter. I bested the packaging, which means that I probably really liked the product, and so, yeah, that's what happened there. And as far as what I did for the lips, I went ahead and used uh, the Too Faced Gingerbread Man, and then the ColourPop, and this is the uh, So Glassy. And that's the way that the lip look turned out. And then as far as what I went ahead and did for the eyes, I used the ColourPop Smoking Hot Palette. And uh, let's see, as far as what I have going on here, I tried to go ahead and use some of the lighter colors in this particular palette. So um, I did go ahead and use... Uh, these two shades right here, right in the crease. So um, a terracotta and an orange, basically. And then what I did was um, on the inner corner, I went ahead and used this one. I used this one on the lid. And let's see, I um, did use a little bit of this on the inner corner as well. But I think that's just about all other than I did use another Emerald pencil or um yeah, gel eyeliner to go ahead and do my eyeliner with today. And this is how this look came out. But I think it's a really fun, um, definitely fall look that has uh, enough of the terracottas and the orange and the golds in there to make it really fun and just a good look. So um, I will be back with my next look, and I'll see you then. Okay, so as far as the book of looks, uh, this is going into another sort of fall look. I don't think I've quite uh, finished it here, so if you'll give me just a second while we're talking here, 
I'm going to go ahead and add an eyeliner on. And this is the Emeride. So this is their dark green. Okay. So I think we got that one done. And as far as what this look has, um, it has a true match. So that's where I started as far as that goes. Um, and then it did have, uh, let's see, the base here. Hmm, which one was that? Hold on. Okay, so back with the next look for Inspiration 5. And I have the L'Oreal True Match in uh, C2.5 on. As far as that goes, I did go ahead and use the Bare Minerals. This is one of their bronzers in Kiss of Copper. So that's what I have on there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and reapply the Revlon. And this is their highlighter. Uh, this one's in Daybreak. And as you can see, I've totally messed up the packaging because I really like the product and just uh, found myself needing to use product a lot. So, um, yeah, that does happen. So uh, this is kind of the way that the look uh, turned out. So these are the two, um, again, the Kiss of Copper um, by Bare Minerals and the Revlon um, daybreak as far as that goes and as you can see I did go ahead and use the Emeride um, eyeliner as well and as far as what I have on the lids right now it's going to be the fresh greens uh, this one's by Colourpop let's clean that off a little bit since I've been going and doing here um, so it started with this one as far as uh, what I have on the crease then I have this one on the inner corner Went ahead and used this one again on the inner corner, this one on the lid, and this one on the outer corner. This is how the look came out. And for, um, yeah, I would definitely pair this kind of look with a green look as well. Like um, this top or, you know, something that lends itself to green. I did go ahead and I still have on the Gingerbread Man. And... Um, the So Glassy from ColourPop as far as on the lips and again the eye so that's what I have on there and again just really fun excuse me uh, really fun fall looks have you found out what's different about me yet? well I'll let you know at the end Okay, so with this look, I went ahead and went on or used the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue and the Vanilla Zero Two again. And the MAC, uh, let's see, bronzer, and this one's in the Light Radiant Rosy or Light Rosy Radiant. So that's what I have on there. As far as the blush, I have on the Bare Minerals, and this is the bronzer in Kiss of Rose. So it's blush and bronzer mixed together. So that's what I have on there. And then as far as what I have on the lips, I went ahead and did the Infallible Paints by L'Oreal. The Metallics, this one is 332. So yeah, that one went really burgundy, really burgundy. And then as far as what I did, um, I used the Undone, and this is the Nonser palette. It's their highlighter palette. And I went ahead and used the blue as the highlighter. So, well, it's actually more of a purple. So I guess it's more of a purple. But that's what I went ahead and used as the highlighter there. And then I did go ahead and use the Pretty Please palette by ColourPop. So this is... Again, the Pretty Please one. And this one, um, as far as the colors that I used, used this on the inner corner. Um, I went ahead and used this in the crease. And then I went ahead and used this on the lid. 
and um, I think that's all I used on this one. Yeah, I didn't do any eyeliner or anything. We could go ahead and add in a little bit. Um, could go ahead and do maybe a little bit of this shade right here. See, so, yeah. eyeliner. And again, just a light, but to give it a little bit of definition. So, yeah, there we go. So a little bit of definition there. This is the way that the eye look came out. And again, a really beautiful palette by ColourPop that um, has a lot of, uh, they would be considered, uh, yeah, um, well, I keep on calling them smoky shades, but um, more of a diffused kind of look, I think, is the way you would state this palette. So, um, yeah, I think it's a little bit loud in places, but I think it's fun as well. So, um, I will see you later. Okay, so um, the next look is actually pretty much using the same base as what I used before, which is different. I usually change them up, but um, I'll go ahead and add a little bit more lip gloss on here. Well, it's really dark burgundy, very shiny, very pretty, and it is a L'Oreal um, Infallible Paints Metallic in... 332 so that's what I have on there um, I do have the bare minerals complexion rescue and vanilla 02 on and uh, the Mac bronzer in the light rosy radiant um, let's see what else did I do here um, I did pretty much leave the rest of it alone so it's gonna be the um, let's see then done beauty and let's see what did i put this one over that's a problem with doing inspirational videos okay so i got interrupted there and i think where we were was i had put on the l'oreal infallible paints metallic in the 332 which is what I have on right there. And then I did go ahead and add in the Master Chrome on top of the Kiss of Rose. And the Kiss of Rose is, let's see, this one, which is a bronzer by Bare Minerals. And so it has blush and bronzer in it. And then this is the Master Chrome. And um, it's a highlighter that Maybelline, yeah, it's a Maybelline product that Maybelline puts out. And so I have that on as well. And let me go ahead and show you what that one looks like. So yeah, it's a very, very glowy look at this point. And um, if you didn't realize what I had done differently, I actually parted over on the other side as far as the eyes go. And um, as far as the palette, uh, the Sakura palette, and again, beautiful palette uh, by Alter Ego. Um, I had this on the inner corner, this on the middle of the lid, this on the um, outer corner, and then these two in the crease here. So it turned out really pretty. Love the look. And I did go ahead and use the green Emeride um, eyeliner as well on this one. Yeah, that's what I did there. And I think the look turned out really pretty. And so, um, let's see, I think we're just about done for today. So, thank you, and have a great day. Bye.